I'm equipment editor Jim Park reporting from the Bosch Mobility Experience 2018 press event at the Bosch Proving Grounds in Flat Rock, Michigan. I'm driving a truck equipped with Bosch's new electric over hydraulic steering system called Servo Twin. Bosch's servo twin steering system is an interesting driver assistance feature in that it makes maneuvering the truck a whole lot easier, but it's also a precursor to automated lane keeping and ultimately to driverless trucks. We talk about a lot of building blocks for automation, so we talked a little bit about the servo twin electric steering. That'll, that'll be available basically in the next two years. So from the next two to five years, you'll see numerous OEMs adopting this technology. And not only for the benefits of the driver comfort and the steering control, but also tied together with certain functionalities like lane keeping, lane centering, uh, a certain, uh, let's say, level one or level two automated driving features this is a building block for that with the steering. So we're in the demonstration truck now with the Bosch servo twin steering gear and you can see sitting here still and I'm still able to one finger this wheel to turn it so that gives you a really good sense of how much energy the system's putting into the steering effort and zero virtually for the driver but as we get up onto the track and get closer to highway speed it stiffens up automatically to still give you a nice firm feel of the road see that in just a minute. So we're just pulling out onto the track here now. I don't see any difference in the steering yet, but I don't really expect to. But as we get up to speed, okay, I'm starting to feel it now. It's getting a little stiffer. Still very comfortable. Um, but uh, we're just going to get up around uh, 40, 45 miles an hour, go around this bank turn here. And that's going to be pretty close to highway speed. So the system now is backing off a little bit. That's requiring a little more effort on my part, which means it's stiffening up nicely, which means it gives me a really nice feel of uh, the steering between the two lines on the road here. So basically the steering uh, knows the, the vehicle speed and uh, calculates the effort and the support assist for the for the driver depending on the vehicle speed. So the ECU controls the motor and the motor then uh, applies the assist. So the driver doesn't have to apply as much force to turn the steering up. So now we're going into a little S-turn maneuver here. As I slow down again, a little bit more input from the steering motor. And uh, we're at about 20 miles an hour here now. Do this little S-turn maneuver. Hardly even feel it. That sure feels nice. Of course, there's a serious side to this system too. With advanced automation, redundancy is critical for safety. This electric over hydraulic system can continue steering the vehicle even if the engine quits or the hydraulic steering system fails. So we're going to come around on those cones one more time and do another S maneuver. Except this time, we're going to simulate an engine failure or some sort of loss of hydraulic. Uh, people worry. You know, that when you have an electric system, okay, well, what happens if it fails, what happens if the engine quits, all this automation going on. Uh, we're going to simulate an engine failure or some sort of a hydraulic failure in that S-turn, but we're going to see how the electric side of the system kicks right in and uh, retains steering control for me. Okay, so you may have heard that. We just shut the engine off. I now, if I was in a regular truck, wouldn't have any power steering whatsoever. I'd be reefing on this wheel to try and get it around pretty darn hard. Right now we're going into these cones here at about uh, 25 miles an hour. And I've still got electric power on my power steering. So the maneuver through here this time, a little bit stiffer than last time, but uh, still absolutely nothing that would give me pause as a driver if I was to have some unfortunate incident uh, lost my hydraulics in the midst of a steering maneuver. Okay, so now we've just turned off the electric side of the system and I'm basically right back to uh, good old manual Armstrong steering here. And uh, <laughs> we got a pull on this sucker. So I would, uh, would not want to have seen a failure through a little S maneuver like I did earlier and having to cope with this. Anybody who's ever tried to turn a hydraulic power steering system that ain't running nose, it takes quite a bit of effort. There we go. Fire that sucker back up and uh, we're good to go. Drops back into gear and uh, we're under power. So is the steering and life is good. 
Jason Roy said earlier that OEMs will begin offering the servo twin system in a couple of years, but I suspect if some level of automated driving appears on the horizon even sooner, Bosch will be ready with this new technology. From the Bosch Mobility Experience 2018 press event in Flat Rock, Michigan, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.